Hey guys and welcome back to Final Fantasy and the Yokai event. This is the amount you get from getting all the minions. Look at it, it's, it's fucking awful. I don't even know where my fucking legs go. Like, cause I'm, you know, I'm a pretty tall fucking dude. Like, like I'm pretty tall, so I really don't know, I'm in the wrong thing. I need to go in the mount guide. So I really do not know where the fuck <laughs> my legs have gone but we're gonna ride this thing we're gonna ride this thing to possibly there I guess or, or there should we do this one let's do this one fuck that one that one takes fucking ages we'll do this one and hopefully we'll get my last medal now I'm gonna do basically I wanted to talk to you guys about this thing this I, I tried, I'm gonna have to leave the chat up I'm afraid I hate leaving it there but I have to press the button to get up to the level sink. I want to talk to you guys about this uh, Yokai event. Uh, it's been, it's been, it, well, it's been stressful because for starters, you've got two months to do this event. You should not like push it all into like a week, like I have. The only reason I've done this is because I've got other stuff to record, and like if I don't get it done, I won't do it. You know. So I've kind of been pushing myself to do it to um to work my way through the fate so i can record this one video and um i even watched a couple of episodes of yokai i watched about three or four episodes of yokai watch just to kind of like understand what the fuck it is and it's <laughs> it's weird like the first episode, I was like, huh, oh, this is charming. I kind of get why people like this. And then, like, the second episode, I was like, I'm so fucking done with this. <laughs> you know? It was like, so I can see why people would like it. Like, I can, I really, really can. I see how it's so popular in Japan. Like, cute little monsters, cute little cat monsters and shit. It's great. Does it fit Final Fantasy XIV? No. It doesn't. I'm sorry, it doesn't. Not even as a Lord of Vermilion expansion, which essentially is what it is. It, like, the story says it is, like, at the beginning of the fucking, like, how it rams it in. It really isn't. Uh, so, I mean, if you have the Yokai game, you can get a Moogle and a Chocobo in that game as, like, little Yokais, which is kind of cool, I guess. I guess they kind of fit in, like, because they make it more to that art style. They can fit the Chocobo Moogle into the art style. Where these, they've kind of used the actual art style of the cartoon into the this game. It looks weird. Uh, but the story-wise, it kind of fits. Like, the main kid, I don't know, Yokai Lad, we'll call him, because I don't actually know his name. Uh, he finds, like, this tree, essentially, right? This big-ass tree. And underneath it is one of those, like, you know those ball capsule things? Uh, if you're if you're in England anyway, uh, you probably have them in the supermarkets near like the checkouts. Uh, but in Japan, they're like all along the streets. And so like, you put a pound in, you turn the thing, and it like out comes a little ball with a little with a little like toy in it, right? And basically, that's what he finds there. And he opens up this ball, and Wisma pops out, which is like this jizzy blob ghost monster, which is the minecart minecart car that we were flying. Little jizz car. That's what that was. And that monster helps this, gives this kid a yokai watch. And that guy gives us a yokai watch. Holy fucking shit, it dropped. I was expecting this to last about three or four fates. That's our last, that's our last medal. I'm so fucking happy. <laughs> I'm so happy that it's done. Uh, it, so, so, let's go, I'll continue this uh, before I hand it in, but let me, let me start teleporting. Uh, so, basically you find it the exact same way, you go to a massive tree, you find this uh, chest, and inside the chest is a, like, an ADS ball, um, and you open it up, and Wisma pops out, and he gives you a yokai watch, and then you get it fixed, and basically a yokai watch is that you shove, when you become friends with a yokai, you put that medal into the watch, 
and that summons the yokai. Like they pop up, they do a little dance with, to, to, to a little song, and then they're there to help the uh, yokai lad. And that's pretty much the entire show. But the entire show is like littered with things like, oh, this this yokai makes children into bad children. And it's like fucking. If I watched this show as a kid. And my mum was like, why didn't you brush your teeth? I was like, oh, it was the brush teeth yokai, mum. It, like, totally made me not do it. You know, so... It's... It's a bizarre show. Uh, I don't think the English dub is very good at all. <laughs> uh, maybe it's just poorly localised. The voice acting's alright. It's about as good as any other cartoon. But... It doesn't fit... Like, the... I don't know, it just, it's quite clearly a Japanese thing, you know? Like, Pokemon is like another world, you know, Digimon is like another world, it's... But this is like a very clearly a Japanese thing, and it seems very weird with English voice actors. Uh, Manji Mutt is by far my fucking favourite one. I'll go through the minions and show you guys them, and... Just because, like, I like two of them, and the rest I couldn't give a shit about. But uh, yeah, so story-wise, it kind of held pretty true to the actual show, surprisingly. And it's pretty interesting that they did that. Uh, the fating itself was devastating. Uh, allow me to show you something. I kept on my Yokai watch. Now, you need the Yokai watch to get Yokai medals, which you can buy all the minions with. I decided to keep the Yokai watch on through all of the minion grinding as well to kind of count how many fates we had to do. I didn't have it on for 10 fates be just to see if the minion medals dropped without it, and they do, so you don't have to keep it on if you just have to have a minion out, and that will drop the legendary medal which you need for the weapons. Now, <laughs> holy shit, this has been great for EXP for my machinist, as you can see. Like, I had to upgrade it all to level 50 gear, and then I've not upgraded it, I've not touched it since. And I've got seven levels out of it. Like, holy shit, there's a lot of EXP out of fucking a Realm Reborn face. Now, let me show you how many Yokai Mails I have. I have 710. <laughs> so, plus the 10 medals that I didn't have it on for, so that's 720, plus like the 30 odd medals, plus like the 30 odd. 30 odd yokai medals that you need to get all the minions. That's a lot of fates. That ends up being about 740 to 750 yokais. Like, yokai medals. Like, I don't know the exact number of how to get all the minions. But when you buy one, the amount you need increases. That's where the grind heavy shit comes in. Each one of these weapons is not 7 medals. No, no, no. It goes up. It goes from 7 to 9 to 11 to 15 and then stays at 15 until the last 3. And then the last 3, you need 30 medals. So that's a ridiculous amount of face. It ends up being a stupid amount of face. Luckily, I've got a lot of shit to watch. So I didn't even pay attention to this. Like, I utilised this time by watching like episodes of Stargate, animes I've not watched yet. And just chatting with my friends. Like, that that's what I did. That's what I used this time for. You know? So, we're going to trade it in and get the last weapon. And we'll look through the minions. And we'll look through the weapons. And then we'll go get our last mount. So, they're all worth 30 now. It's ridiculous. Okay. Summoner's Rimoire. This will be the first one we look at as well, I guess. Oh, no. Cutscene? Special cutscene? Oh, no. Oh, it's fucking awful. <laughs> Here you go, your new weapon. Go on, try it out. No. I'm, I'm not a summoner, so I can't for a start. I will never. <laughs> my friend, this must be one of your finest exchanges I've, I've seen in my travels. I cannot recall the last time an adventurer purchased every single weapon I had to offer. I must say I'm impressed. Yeah, I did it. Ah, it appears my old friend has come to visit me. Why don't you try now? Come on over. Oh, it's the minst minstrel ballad, dude. My apologies, Notch. I did not want to intrude on what looked like a very lively conversation between you two. I say, should I have just finished acquiring all 13 of my finest weapons? 
who's himself quite the arsenal. All 13? Well then, allow me to extend congratulations to you as well. It must have been a tremendous amount of walling. I can only imagine how thrilled you must have to have obtained such a long sought after rewards. No, I fucking hate every single one of them. Uh, yes, indeed. Actually, the Black Mage is not bad. It's indeed travelling rewards for adventurers who throw themselves head first into the heart of savage battles. Wouldn't you agree, my minstrel friend? Wait, wait a moment. We need not discuss such complicated matters now. After all, we're in the midst of celebrating his achievement, are we not? Indeed. It is a shame my stay in the Orza is only temporary. I'm rather curious to see what becomes of your story. Rather, on behalf of my company, I would like to. Right. Uh, have fun, you two. Hey, come back here. I still have some affairs to speak to you about. <sighs> He's always so elusive. When I mention savagery of combat. Yeah, he's not a fighter. That dude, he's more of a lover. Nevertheless, I was saying perhaps you can go on an adventure of your own somewhere in the future. As friends. Until then. Goodbye. Holy shit. Fucking stay the fuck away from me, yeah, dude. <laughs> Never fucking come back. Holy shit. Yeah, achievement unlocked. Get that out of the way. Oh, that's the one. More infantry slots, please. They know. They know They know the inside jokes, don't they? Fucking hell. Uh, so infantry, let's move this one over here. And let us go to our achievements and go to the latest five. Uh, Tengdea, there we go. The Wisma Agogo Key. The Wisma Agogo Key. I've already seen the mount. <laughs> And holy shit, is it disappointing? Uh, let's look. At, let's have a look at all the weapons, shall we? So this is the weapon from I'm naked for a start. Let's display our gear, just so we're not completely naked. Um, if we save that and then get this on as well, does it? Yeah, it does. So this one is from the uh, samurai one. It's from the samurai dude. It's like my favorite one next to the dog. Which the sword? I'm actually I'm actually kind of digging the sword. I'm actually kind of digging the sword. The shield, it's kind of cute, but nothing that I'd ever wear. Uh, let's have a look. These are the monk weapons. These are from the USA cat thing. Uh, I do have a monk at level 58 or something, but I ain't ever using that. <laughs> Never using it. Uh, okay, the warrior one. The warrior one is not too bad. If you're someone who likes the fancy axes, like a flashy axe, then I guess that's not too bad. Uh, let's put it away so we can see the little picture. Like a little cat. A little cat. A little punching cat. That's cute. Um, okay. The Dragoon Spear actually looks fucking awful. It looks absolute awful. This one I am actually. I hate completely. That one is not a great one. Uh, this is the Astrologian weapon. Uh, cards. Of course. Um, nice colorings, I guess. I guess you can't really see anything. Uh, it's got a picture of a snake on it. It's got a picture of that dopey-ass fucking snake thing on it. So that's... That's great. You don't really want that, do you? Uh, this is the Scholar weapon. It's got a picture of his cat face. You know what? If you're the type of person who likes, like, the Moogle books, I imagine you probably quite like this one. I imagine you could quite enjoy that. There you go. There's a picture of the inside of it as well. It's, um... It's alright, that one. Limited time any way the wind blows, huh? I like that one. Uh, Dark Knight? I dig this one. This one I dig. It's pretty nice. It's not, again, it's too colourful, I guess, for me, maybe. So, not the sort of thing that I'm going to use. But, but I do like that one. When I see someone with that one, I don't immediately go, ugh. Uh, this one? Not, again, not my deal. Really not my deal. Uh, keep though, I guess, if nothing else. Uh, the bow. <laughs> See, obviously it extends. Yeah, there you go. It's not a bad bow. Like, the quiver's cool. But it's got, like, grins. You, do you see the grins? You see, you see them? They're laughing at you. I don't like that. 
uh, the ninja weapons, ninja blades. Uh, these aren't too bad. Uh, they've got a little fox on them. I don't know what the fox is, though. But, um, fox is on there. It's like a little nine-tailed fox, dude. Uh, then we have the gun, the machinist weapon, which looks legitimately like a Power Ranger toy. You know, like, the toys that you could buy, like, the plastic Power Ranger toys? Like, that's what it looks like, right? Like, that's legit what it looks like. Uh, yeah. No. No, no. Not a thing. Um, this one, the Black Mage one, this one looks alright. It's got a picture of the, uh, little girl in it, but it's like a little... You could mistake that for, like, a Final Fantasy 1 girl, you know? You could... You don't know. So that one don't look too bad. This one, this one looks okay. This one is the one we just see. This one looks pretty fucking awful. <laughs> oh god, look at it. Oh, Jesus. Poor Mangy Mutt. Um, right, actually, let's go to the inventory again and come over here. Okay, Medellium. So the cat. Uh, yeah, there's a cat. There's a cat. There's a bunny. There's a ghost. There's a cat in arm. Um, I fucking love this guy. He's so cool. Uh, there's a ninja cat. There's a cat. I just think they're cats. I'm not actually sure. They might not be. Yeah, they're not they're cats. There's a snake. There's a dude. There's the nine tailed fox lady. Uh, there's a robot cat. Because ghostly spirits can be cats too. Um, then you've got her. She's cute. And then Mangy Mutt. Holy shit, right? Fucking Mangy Mutt. Let me tell you, right? The episode of Mangy Mutt. This is one I watched. This is one of the four. Holy fucking shit. Mangy Mutt is like the coolest fucking thing in the world. This dude, right? He gets fired. He's too embarrassed to go home to his wife. So he gets drunk, right? Like, he gets straight up fucking drunk off his head. Walking home, spots a poodle. Holy shit. He crashes into some wood. That wood falls on him and the poodle. Killing him and the poodle. Fusing them together to make that motherfucker. That's... That's cool. I like him. <laughs> he's weird. And he's weird and like a pervert. I like him. I like him a lot. Uh, the only other thing is that we can have a look at the uh, flavor text for each of them, I guess, if you really wanted to. Uh, after being run over... Yeah, that's actually true. That's actually true. That was in like episode one or something. I don't know. I think it's episode one. Uh, episode one or two. But yeah, he got run over. He like keeps attacking the cars. Uh, okay. And across the USA upon. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. He's like a Yokai butler dude. He is the legendary warrior. Why are they all cats though? That's why I don't get. Maybe you'd learn that if you're uh, if you watch the rest of it. If you know, if you watch Yokai Watch and you know why there's so many cats, let me know, please. Uh, QB, QB is the one with the nine tails. The robot dude. He's a little cool dude. Become the perfect robot cat. And a little blizzara. She's cute. You have the power to make temperatures drop. Blizzara can make snow fall even in summer and freeze volcanoes. Wow. The manger mutt. A, a man faced poodle who enjoys scaring people. Frightening by a poodle with immense fists. So that's cool. That's great. You know what? Manger mutt. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> and no need to summon another yokai unless it's the samurai cat dude. Uh, right, we need to go hand in this thing. There's many locations, I'm sure. Uh, in fact, I'm, I was told that there's one in Uldar as well. I don't fucking know where it is. I don't know where it is. <laughs> I've played this game since, since its inception. And I don't know where the fucking achievement guy is. I don't know where that is. But I do know where it is in Gridania. So, we'll get that guy. You only ever really need one dude, though, don't you? Uh, it's pretty dead. The area is pretty dead. Holy shit, is it dead? Uh, I'm. It's like it's like 1 a.m. on a Thursday. <laughs> so this video will be Friday's video, which is the day of the Moon Fest, the Moon Sky Festival, or the Summer Festival. So go do that. That'll be in Costa del Sol. Uh, you get some pretty cool stuff from that. We will do that. I will do that tomorrow. And then I will put that up as Saturday's video. Uh, so that'll be tomorrow's video, basically, because you're seeing this Friday. 
uh, today. Uh, fucking hell. <laughs> so complicated. Basically, I haven't been to sleep yet, and I'm going to work in about seven or eight hours. So I'm going to do this, and I'm probably going to go to bed, and that should be enough time for me to sleep comfortably, hopefully, if I ever actually fall asleep. Share tales. Yes, I'd like you to share this tale with you. Please give me a Wisma a go go key. Did you give me it? Share tales, dude. I ain't got shit to share with you. There we go. The Wisma a go go key has been done. It has been unlocked. Let us go. I'll tell you what, that'll be. There you go. The house. The household will be a very cheap teleportation. See, I already know what this mount is. I've seen some other dude with it. <laughs> some, some other dude beat me. I was like, fuck, man, that guy. In fact, quite a lot of people beat me. I've seen a lot of people have this. People who got really lucky. Uh, I think uh, one of the guys who did it, did it in 444. 444 stuff. So, right, here we go. Over here, there's a nice big open space. Uh, let's go to the mount guide. Let's get on this one. The Wisma Go. Here we are, the Wisma Go. And I know you kind of already saw it, it has a little cart thing and shit. That's great. Now, let's get on the Wisma Go. So it's the exact fucking same, except it glows and has a cat on it. Fucking really? <laughs> this is the shit? This is the shit we get? For doing all that grinding, like people, I mean, you have two months to do this, right? So you could easily do it like an hour a day, or how, like, you could probably do it like a couple of hours a week, and you'd probably get it. Like, it's not terrifically hard. It's not like a terrifically hard thing. We're actually going into someone's house here. This is probably not wise. Um, so yeah, it's not a terrifically hard thing to get, especially when it's just a realm reborn phase. So I have no doubt that you can all do it. And you've got two months to clear this, remember. So I just burnt myself out by shoving it all into one week. I know I'm an idiot. You could have easily... I could have easily spread this out a lot better and felt a lot better about myself. Oh, look, my house is, like, right up here from this opening thing. I never noticed that. Anyway. So it's just a cat. It just glows and it's a cat on it. Like, for the grind, that's what you get. You just get an upgraded ver- you just get a better version of the other man. I guess, I mean, is that right? Because that shows that you did all the extra hard work, right? Like, this cat there is enough indication to be like, yeah, I did enough. You know? There's no title. Is there any title? There was no title involved, was there? It's not like, hey, you got the yokai fucking beep beep boop thing. There's no- yeah, there you go, that. that's where you get that from. Uh, yeah, there's no, like, title, like, you're a yokai master, or anything like that shit. So... Oh, fuck. Well, yeah, we definitely do need more infantry. That is definitely a thing. And it is a thing that's coming, right? There's definitely a thing that is arriving at some point. Uh, so, overall, are we happy with this event? Uh, am I happy with this event? It's fine. As much as a event with a, another game goes, it's pretty good. It's alright. It's pretty much what you expect. Uh, is it, you know, is it worth doing? Probably not, to be honest with you. <laughs> if you just want to get the minions, then just do that. Don't, don't push yourself for getting the weapons if you don't. If, if you don't have an interest in this mount specifically, like, if you don't like the jizzy fucking car, then you don't need it. You really, really don't need it, you know? You don't need to, like, waste the time. Oh, look! Oh, look, that thing's got a bridge on it! Oh, I should get one of these! This is cool. I like this. Sorry, I'm just in someone else's fucking house. That's cool, though. I like that. I like that furnishing. Uh, hopefully this will lead back around to my house somehow. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, did I enjoy it? No, but because I shoved it all into thing. But I did get a lot of I did get a lot of Stargate watched. So you know, if anything, you know, there's that. 
and yeah it was it good enough I guess so I guess so did you enjoy it more likely more importantly did you enjoy this event did you come away with this event feeling thing I have finished it and I feel nothing <laughs> I feel nothing <laughs> at this point because I burnt myself out if you're doing this event let me know if you're going for this let me know your thoughts on the event as a whole if you feel like it was worth your time, if it was felt like it's fuck it, just push it to the side. Let me know in the comments below. I'd really be interested to see your opinions on this. What do you think of the mounts? What do you think of the minions, the weapons? What's your favorite one? You know, let me know all that sort of information because I love that shit. I love knowing what you guys think. Uh, I guess this thing was great. I'll see you guys tomorrow for the summer event. We're also we've also got the uh, anniversary event in a few weeks I think or a month so you know two events are going to be shoved in the middle of this so if you need a break go to Costa de Sol go to Costa de Sol today and get yourself some Power Ranger gear and stuff so that's kind of cool uh, although there is no minions it is, it is a fate related event <laughs> holy shit uh, at least they're unique fates and it's in Costa de Sol but there is no minion that you can take into Costa de Sol no minion will get you medals in Cost of the Soul. Keep that in mind. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoy the series. Uh, if you are enjoying the videos, make sure you hit like or subscribe. Or, you know, a dislike if you didn't like it. If you want to shove a comment down below, answering a few of those questions that I just shoved in your face real quick. You know, did you enjoy the event? Do you like it? Are you going for the mount? I would really appreciate that as well. I'm now going to go to bed. And... I will see you guys tomorrow for a summer festival. Bye-bye.